good morning good morning guys yes indeed it is a good morning yeah we're finally getting ready to leave this rest area let me tell you it's full it was full pretty much yesterday when we pulled in there as you guys saw and it's even more fuller now look at this everybody parking here on the side yeah it is packed <clears throat> we are getting out of here now I guess my son is still a little tired so he's sleeping so let him sleep for a little while yet and then he can get up but we will get back at it again it's bright and early this morning but uh, that's what we like to do it's quarter to seven so let's get out of here Let's hit the road. Appreciate you guys joining me today. Alrighty guys, we've been up for a good while here and uh, my son is finally up and here we go. Uh, looks like we got a scale that is open and they give us the bypass lane. So that's fantastic news. Yeah, we're only about two more miles away from uh, I-24. We'll be going down I, uh, I-24. Yep, looks like we keep on getting the green light. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, that's fantastic. Look at that. You can just continue on cruising along here. That's awesome. Looks like that other scale there on the other side is open too. Alright, that's fantastic. Sunny again, eh? You had a good night's sleep? Yeah. There you go. That's always good. Mine was alright too. But yeah. We only have 458 more miles to go. And we'll be at our delivery already. Yeah. It says at 4.30 this afternoon we could be at our delivery, which that ain't gonna happen because we got to take our half an hour break yet somewhere and so we'll see exactly what time we will get there but it'll probably be a little bit later than that I'm definitely oh, gonna be some traffic to the in right Atlanta on 24 east. yeah I know I gotta stay on that 24 east so that's right yeah man here we are look at that what's that livingstone county yeah we have entered kentucky here a little while ago already look at them barges up there that cool or what yeah that's what i figured yeah it's starting to get real hot already and it's only nine o'clock in the morning and it's already 29 degrees Celsius. I can just tell it's gonna be a hot one today again. <laughs> yeah, probably even hotter than yesterday. At least that wouldn't surprise me. But what about you there, boy? Wanna have a shower today? Probably. Probably? Brush my teeth. Brush your teeth? Okay. That not feel good. There you go. That's what I thought too, that'd be a good idea. I think we need a shower. It's about time. I think so too, we'll, uh, we'll make a pit stop here probably in another hour or so and then uh, probably go take us a shower, eh? Maybe we'll have a bite to eat, maybe. We'll see about that. Uh, yeah, looks like uh, we got about another hour and a half and we'll be in Crashfield, I mean Nashville, Tennessee, yes indeed. There is a lot of accidents in that area all the time, like you can almost guarantee you're going to see an accident going through there, especially in rush hour time. Yes indeed, that's why they call it Crashfield. Way station ahead. Way station ahead. We just went through a way station here a few minutes ago. We did. Well, probably 45 minutes ago, but 
for you guys watching, it was only a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, another scale coming up. Oh well. I don't care, we're legal, we scaled it, right? Even the other scale gave us the bypass, so unless they want to do an inspection on us, they're going to pull us in, right? But if they don't, either they're going to give us a bypass or whatever. They want to pull us over the plate, we'll be out of there, right? Yeah, look at that. Two hours actually to Nashville, that one says. I thought it was going to be more like an hour and a half, but yeah, that one says two hours. So, that's all right then. We will find us a place to stop before there and take care of business a little bit and then we'll continue on, right? Look at this, guys. This sign says open. Yeah, this scale is almost always open. I've gone through here many times before and they're always open. Never come across this one, I think, maybe but one time that this one was closed, but every other time it's been open, you know? So let's slow her down so they can get our weight, our accurate weight. I think they got like a plate here. Well, maybe not. No, it doesn't look like they actually have a plate here, but they got all kinds of cameras. So oh, there's a plate right there. That's what I thought. They usually do have a plate up here somewhere. They take your uh, weight and then uh, they give you an arrow which way you can go. But this uh, scale up here also allows you to sleep in here as well. And they are giving me the bypass lanes from what I can tell. So that's nice. Feet. Keep to the left on what I is that? Is that like a military jeep or what is that that they got ahead. sitting there? Looks like it. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me too. Yeah. Oh wow, I wonder why they have that over here. Looks like they keep giving us an exit sign, so that is good. We like to see that, right? Looks like even the other side is open too today. Yeah, I guess today is open day for every scale, I suppose. Continue on this road for 104 miles. 104 miles, all right, RJ. We will do that then. But yeah, I guess they're open everywhere. <laughs> but as I told you earlier, we're legal, so we have nothing to worry about. Right, son? Yeah. That's what I thought. We scaled it at Penners, right? Yeah. There you go. Anyways, let's continue cruising along here and uh, have us a good day, right? Alrighty, guys. We stopped here at the Fly and J. And what are we going to do? Shower. Shower. That's right. It's shower time. Pretty darn hot over here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, very, very hot over here sun is super bright too yeah we're gonna go take us a shower and then probably go grab us a bite to eat right probably. yeah i think so i think this time we will go inside and get us a bite to eat inside the restaurant unless they're super busy in there or or whatever then i guess we'll leave but yeah we are here at the fly and hook as i said uh, uh, look at that old tank eh? that should probably be Replaced pretty soon. What do you say? Should probably be, eh? Yeah, I think so. But anyways, we'll go take us a shower and then uh, we'll see you guys later. Well, guys, it is a good morning when you are having some real nice breakfast. Look at that nice steak. We got pancakes. What do you got there, boy? Same thing. Same thing? You got the same thing. Must be father like son. Son like father. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting hungry. All right, guys, it is time to get out of this flying day, which we just did. We wasted enough time in there, although it was definitely worth uh, spending that time in there. We had us a much needed shower, right? Yep. That's what I figured. And what else did we do? We went to Denny's. Had some good breakfast. Oh, that was good, yeah. Yeah. We were hungry, boys. Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's right. We will be coming into Tennessee here very shortly. Yes, I think so. 
And then before you know it, we'll be in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. You know what they do a lot in Nashville? Yeah. No? Well, I thought you were a smart guy. Not the case? I don't know. Oh. You just don't know everything? No, I don't know everything. Oh, okay. They play a lot of music in uh, Nashville. That's where all the musicians come to. That's what they're known for. A lot of radio stations are in that area. Yeah. A lot of famous musicians, say, are in that area. So that's what goes on. That, that's what goes, goes on Stay in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. That's right. See, now it already said state border ahead. So, that means in about five miles, we'll be in Tennessee. I got my GPS set up so it will warn me five miles in advance. Yeah. Anyways, it's a hot one, that's for sure. We left our truck idling because it just, I didn't want to climb in that hot truck later on, you know? We spent about two hours in that truck stop almost. <laughs> so yeah that's why I said it's time to get out of there but I didn't really want to get through Atlanta too early anyways because uh, if I get there real early there's just going to be bad traffic and I couldn't get there early enough before the traffic would start so I figured well I may as well waste a little time over here and then we'll go through there after the traffic has disappeared you know or hopefully anyways Hopefully that will work out that way. But yeah, that's what's going down. Beautiful, beautiful uh, temperatures up here. I mean, it's hot, but beautiful day. Nice and calm. It's not windy. I heard they got a uh, storm. <coughs> a storm go through Duluth there yesterday. So luckily we were out of there already. But we do have friends up there, and they're without power. So that kind of sucks. I uh, hope they're going to be okay. Yes, indeed. Looks like we got the right lane closed up here, so I guess then we better move her in the left lane. If that's true or not. Looks like it is. So let's get on down the road and enjoy our trip. Alrighty, guys and gals, we are coming into now. Tennessee ladies and gentlemen welcome to the Mizush Musician Country Place. In a quarter mile. Yeah, I guess. I-24 East, I-40 East. Alright RJ, we will try and do that. Yeah, and I'm surprised on that little on-ramp there a little earlier. There wasn't even any traffic up there. I'm surprised at that. Very surprised at that. I think right after this bridge, you're gonna see Nashville a little bit. Yes, indeed. You should see it right after this bridge. You'll see some high-rising buildings up there. What do you say, son? Five miles. Keep to you the see left it up there? I-40 yeah. East, I-24 East. That's cool. Yeah. They got a TA truck stop just down the road here on the right. And right beside it, or just not too far from it, there's actually a football stadium. Where? Just down the road here. Oh yeah, I can see it. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ! Hey! Keep the language down. I got my son with me today, okay? Alright. Somebody's swearing on the radio here today. I don't know what he's swearing about, but he's swearing about something. I guess he just wanted to get it on the radio. He got it. He got it on my on my video today. We might have to cut that out. But yeah, this is Nashville, Tennessee, for you, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we're gonna have to slow her down over here a little bit, though. I was just bragging about the other place there where we didn't have to slow down. Usually we don't have too much of a slow down over here, but looks like we got to slow down over here now. You see the football stadium up there, guys? Yeah, just uh, right down there. There's where the TA truck stop is. Literally just across the street is the football stadium. Now let me ask you guys, 
How many of you guys have been here at this football stadium? Leave a comment down below, guys. I would love to hear from you guys. Yes, indeed. Looks like we're coming to a stop up here, so... So, yeah, let's slow her down a little bit. Let everybody know we're coming to a stop up here. We put our four-way flashers on in order to let everybody know. That we're slowing down a little bit. I don't know exactly why we're slowing down, but... Hey, you never know in Crashfield, I mean Nashville. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful uh, city up here. It, it is. looks looks great from up here for sure. But uh, yeah, I mean it's almost one o'clock. Shouldn't be rush hour yet, so I don't get it why we got traffic. But Nashville always seems to have some kind of traffic. So Ooh, nothing really new. Metro Police it's coming on here. to the road up here. I guess he's going to come and check it out, see what's going on up here. Yeah. But we'll continue on cruising along here. and We already have gotten us a reload. Ooh, that road is rough. Oh boy, that four-wheeler, what are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> You're just cutting right across at everybody, eh? And right in front of the cop and everything, too. Cop just letting them go. Would have, would have been funny if he would have pulled him over. That would have been real funny to get that on camera. Uh -huh. But as I was finishing trying to say anyways, we got us a good reload, didn't we? You oh, want to yeah. tell him about it? I forgot to put this down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and put that down. I'll try. Yeah, you got to push it up and then uh, turn it. Just pull it down once you have it out. Oh, okay. There we go. Now you can see him a little bit better. Hopefully. Yep. So and we got a load to Toronto. There you go. What are we going to do in Toronto? We're going to have some Master Steak. What is that? We're going to go to Master Steak. Master Steak? What is that? I think, I think we all know the best steak that we can find. Ah. On the road. There you go. Well, I mean, I have had good steak at other places too, like the keg and some of those places and stuff like that. But yeah, that's uh, that's a place that has really, really good steak. That's that's a fact. Yes, indeed. Yes, everybody just decided to come into this lane here. Cut us off, but whatever. It's the way it is. Now what? As soon as we are through this little stretch here, we will be out of Nashville or starting to go out of Nashville, anyways. Then we'll be all right. We'll be a little uh, in a little bit better situation, I think. But I always just keep my distance up here generally, and and then uh, that way I got time. To stay with you. He knows you've got the direction. Then I can slow her down. And yeah, maybe. Might think I'm such a perky. I might need some less headquarters. Alright, we'll turn that off so we can do our video up here. But yeah, as I was saying, that way uh, we will be in a little bit of a better situation with the traffic at least. And uh, if we keep our good distance, I think that's good practice. Even if, you know, like every once in a while somebody comes in there or whatever cuts them off cuts us off or whatever like these two trucks ahead of us here did they didn't really i mean cut us off but you know they didn't really leave us with a lot of space you know but yeah i like to leave a decent space you know that way you have time to slow down and time to, to right react you know east. and so that's what my goal has always been but yeah we got us a pretty decent reload already so we're going to be picking up tomorrow and that's a very nice load. I really enjoy those kind of loads. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be going to Toronto. So that's going to be awesome. We'll give us some good miles. Plus we'll be able to go to Master Stay. Yes, indeed we will be. All right, guys. Here we are going downhill. We are in Tennessee on I-24 eastbound and down. 
We just stopped at that uh, brake inspection station up there and here we are going downhill. Yeah, that is a pretty steep one so we got to be careful on this one. It's almost like driving in the mountains in British Columbia. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's going downhill pretty steep. Warning. Trucks are allowed 45 miles an hour, so we're trying to keep it under that. Every once in a while we might go a little bit over, but hey, we're trying our best. Engine brake is working real good. Don't really have to step on the brakes too much every few times but other than that it's not too bad it said that this first uh, runaway ramp is open but the second one apparently is closed so uh, if we wouldn't make it if we couldn't stop till the second one we would pretty much be in trouble well, that's what we're trying to do I know it's probably a little bit noisy so you're probably having a hard time hearing me I'm trying to raise my voice a little bit, but six degrees for the next two miles downhill. Yep. Runaway ramp, three quarters of a mile. Look at this other guy, he's even going faster than me. Oh well, that's all right. I'm trying to keep it at that speed limit that is uh, required for us. Actually, we're even the ones that are over, well, I think it was uh, like 80,000 pounds, like between 75 and 80 are even supposed to go slower, but anyways, we're just showing you what we see up here, beautiful, beautiful scenery up here, that's for sure, yeah, this guy is going pretty fast too, not supposed to go that fast, but he does, yeah, it looks like somebody has used that, uh, runaway ramp here that's probably why they said it's closed it looks like somebody has gone in there recently that's not a good sign <laughs> yeah it looks like they pulled them out over there but as you can see it's starting to look pretty hilly up here hey eh? it's gorgeous though right yeah that's what i figured the engine brake is holding there pretty steady that's good Still gonna go down for a good while yet. Well, it's at two miles, right? That's far. Yeah, that's a long way, that's for sure. But we'll make her down no matter what, right? I think so. Going down is usually not a problem, right? It's always going up. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, guys, we have finally decided to get a truck wash. So let's take a look. I think she's looking pretty good. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's all right. Uh, they missed a little bit over here, I guess, but it's been such a long time since I've gotten a truck wash. It uh, would be hard to get everything, right? So, but uh, yeah, I think she looks all right. Anyways, we're going to get out of here. All righty, guys. We are here on 285 Southbound around Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, we are. We did have a little bit of traffic here uh, when we uh, wanted to make our turn on to 285, but it wasn't terrible. I've had it worse, that's for sure. We are already past that 20 eastbound, so generally once you get past that, you're uh, generally a little better off, but uh, Still a little bit of traffic, but not terrible, but it's also already quarter after seven, so that makes a little bit of a difference too. Yeah, it looks like we got a broke down truck there on the opposite side there of the highway, but we got 30 more miles to go to our delivery. And as far as I know, I've been uh, told by uh, several people now that this place is open 24 seven. We can deliver anytime, so, uh, basically just do a drop a uh, drop trailer over there so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go down there and drop our trailer and I've been told there's a Walmart close by where we can go to and stay the night so that's probably what we will be doing well we'll see exactly what we will end up doing but 
that's kind of what I'm thinking that we're going to be doing so then we'll just go back uh, I'll probably just drop this trailer there and then I'll bobtail over to uh, Walmart or whatever and then that way I can just bobtail her back to the customer tomorrow and pick up my empty trailer and then uh, make my way to my reload that's the plan as of right now I already looked it up and it looks like it's about a day and a half worth of driving to Toronto so tomorrow is Friday so we could be in Toronto Saturday night if nothing goes wrong that would be awesome yes indeed it would be I would really like that we could go down there for Saturday night and have a good stay oh yeah that would be very nice but anyways I just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a heads up on what we are up to and how everything looks over here and uh, hey I hope you enjoy it all right guys we are at our customer and we have dropped our load yes indeed we have yeah and we asked if we could stay here overnight and lo and behold they said yes indeed you can so I was very 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 happy about that so that way we could just we dropped our trailer here and we can go bobtail to the bobtail section and stay here overnight so we can just pick up empty up tomorrow morning and get out of here yeah so what do we do what did we do we finished uh, adding a little bit on our uh, website and we added a uh, we added it our video from yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we did because we want you guys to be able to watch some videos. Yes, indeed. But it is time to go to bed now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's what I figured. So, we're going to hang her up here and uh, we're going to go to bed. Hope you guys will uh, join us again tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah. That's what I figured. So don't go nowhere, tomorrow morning we'll be right back here on Trucker Rudy. This has been a very nice day today. Oh yeah, so have a good one and we'll catch you right here tomorrow morning. It's time to get going, it's time to move on. Put this behind me, that day is gonna come. I'm breaking the wall.